It has become very clear to me that the essence of playing tennis is our ability to efficiently transfer our energy into the ball. And here's one simple exercise that will show you exactly how to do that. So about 20 years ago, I did a training for the USTA and there were a few number one players in the world who were at that training. And they were trying to set up a junior development program and they were working on strokes and forehands and backhands and grips. And the thing that struck me was that no one could agree on any of it. And I'm sure you've seen that when you watch any of the big tournaments, people have different looking strokes. The one thing they could all agree on is that the transfer of weight at the moment of contact, transfer of weight into the ball to move the ball was essential for access to easy power. I'm going to take that a step further and say, I don't think it's the transfer of weight. It's the transfer of energy. I believe that is what makes the tennis ball move. And the more energy I have access to and the more efficiently I can direct that energy, the more accurate, the more powerful, and the more consistent I will be. So there are exercises we can do that can help us with that. One of them is I've got Saul here with the medicine ball. The medicine ball connects my upper and lower body in order to move the ball. And yes, you could feel like your weight is moving the ball, but I'm going to pay attention to my energy. And my energy sits about two inches below my belly button. And when I move it and where I move it is where that ball is going to go, just like on a tennis court. But because the ball is eight pounds and heavier, if I use just my arms, they're going to get really tired. In tennis, if you use just your arms, they won't necessarily get really tired because the ball doesn't weigh as much. This is a sim simple exercise you can do to connect your upper and lower body in order to transfer your energy into the ball more efficiently. There you go. All right. So uh, we'll go this way. You'll notice we start really close together. And as I have it, I might back up. Now, if you can, just watch where my belly button moves. Forward and right where the ball went. Or just below that. That's what makes the ball move. If I catch like that with just my arms, that I felt that in my shoulders. If I try to throw with just my arms, it's a lot harder to throw. It doesn't feel as good. Catch it with my body, move it with my body. And my body moves because my energy moves. And my energy moves because my mind says that's where I want the energy to go. So my mind and my body work together in harmony to do what I want to do. It's a super fun thing. You can, you don't necessarily need someone to do it with. If you have a wall, you can do it against the wall. You'll find out very quickly that the most efficient way to move this is use your whole body to make the ball move. Move your energy, move your body. Okay, that's it for this exercise, this tool that we can use to make us a more powerful player. Get our mind and our body working together in harmony to do what we want to do. After you try out this exercise, use it to pay attention to how you transfer your energy. Even when you're just standing on a line at the movie theater, in the supermarket, wherever, what leg are you standing on? And when you shift to the other leg, can you feel how you transfer your energy from one leg to the other? All right, that's it for this week. Don't forget again to hit the like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and until next time, enjoy the Telos Tennis Adventure.